I record my videos. I'm gonna go through all the gear I use and my setup for how I record my pedal harp as well as my electric harp. First off, this is what my setup looks like. This is the tripod that I use, super sturdy. It has extendable legs and this part can be raised and you have the full motion so you can tip the camera if needed. Then I have it attached to my ring light. I'm gonna turn this off so you can see it properly. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. It's literally falling apart, taped together here. Took this part from another ring light that broke on me because I wanted this part to connect and then there was no attachment here. I really like this camera holder because I find it's easy to like shift around and rotate and it also spring loaded, which is way easier for getting the phone on and off. The camera I use, I am currently recording on. I use the Samsung Galaxy S10e and I make sure to put my video camera settings on the highest quality. Next step is my microphone. I use an external mic when I record all my videos. This is the Rode Video Micro and I love it. I use it for all of my acoustic videos. I have a very long extension and this plugs directly into my phone. Let me talk about my ghetto setup. I have it on a clip so I can put it here or I can put it on the bottom of my music stand and I attached it to like another piece that I had from some other device and I bought this part separately. It's an adapter. Let me take it off and show you. This area is too big to fit onto here and I find most of the screws that these little clips come with are the smaller size. And this is my electric harp setup. Let me walk you through all these connections. I have my harp plugged in and it goes into my tuner, which goes into my multi-effects pedal, which goes into my Bose S1 speaker so I can hear what I'm playing. Sometimes I just plug my headphones in so I can listen that way rather than blasting my neighbors. I also have this extension cord set up so I can plug in my effects pedal as well as my ring light. And I can also plug in my phone if it's about to die. When it comes time to record, I could place that external mic right in front of that speaker and pick up the audio that way, but I like to get a clean audio. So I take out that plug and plug it into this guy the iRig, and this plugs directly into my cell phone. I should say when this guy is plugged in the phone, I cannot hear the audio that I'm producing unless I put headphones on. I know there's somehow a way to hook up my gear so I can plug this into my phone and my speaker at the same time. I'm just not there yet. 